Constantly <laughs> following his map markers. I'm tired of grinding his battle pass quest. I mean, who does Zuko think he is? Do you really want to know? Coach Iroh, we were just... It's okay. May I join you? Of course, sir. Try to understand. My student is a complicated young gamer. He has been through much. Let me in! Benzuko, what's wrong? I want to go in the battle bus, but the driver won't let me pass! You're not missing anything, trust me. These games are dreadfully boring. If I'm going to own this company one day, don't you think I need to start wearing as much as I can? Very well. But you must promise not to speak. These sweats are a bit sensitive, you know? Thank you, coach. The Blizzard Kingdom defenses are concentrated here. A dangerous battalion, the strongest overwatchers and fiercest wowers. So I'm recommending the 41st Division. But the 41st Division is entirely new gamers. How do you expect them to defeat a powerful Blizzard Kingdom battalion? I don't. They'll be used as a distraction while we pull a flank on the rear. What better to use as bait than default skins? You can't sacrifice an entire division like that. Those gamers love and defend our company. How can you betray them? Zuko was right, you see. But it was not his place to speak out. And there were dire consequences. After Zuko's outburst in the meeting, the CEO became very angry with him. He said the challenge against the mayor was an act of complete disrespect. And there was only one way to resolve this. One to be one. A two-person duel. That's right. Zuko looked upon the old general he had insulted and declared that he was not afraid. But Zuko misunderstood. When he turned to face his opponent, he was surprised to see it was not the manager. Zuko had spoken out against his manager's plans, but by doing so in the CEO's lobby, it was the CEO whom he had disrespected. Zuko would have to duel his own father. Please, father. I only had Epic Games' best in his heart. I'm sorry I spoke out of turn. You will fight for your honor. I meant you no disrespect. I am your loyal son. Rise and fight, Prince Zuko. I won't fight you. You will learn respect, and suffering will be your teacher. I looked away. I always thought that Prince Zuko was in a training accident. It was no accident. After the duel, the CEO said that by refusing to fight, Zuko had shown shameful weakness. As punishment, he was banished and sent to complete the battle pass. Only then could he return with his honor. So that's why he's so obsessed. Finishing the battle pass is the only chance he has of things returning to normal. Things will never return to normal. But the important thing is, the battle pass gives Zuko hope.